In the last episode, I gambled wrong. I gambled wrong. Back to the action. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, a lot of changes. I, you can probably tell from just looking at the layout. There's a lot of things that have been modified since the first episode. So, first of all, I want to thank my friend Hugs. Um, he watched the first episode. He gave me a lot of suggestions and even helped me build out this new layout so that it could fit the game a bit better. So, I hope you like it. Adding to that as well, what you're going to notice is, if you look down there, the spook counter is actually at 3 instead of 2, because I rewatched the first episode and realized that I did get startled by something. Uh, you know, it, it really doesn't look like it, but that actually, <gasps> he's coming out of them. And forgot to upgrade the counter. So the counter is set up now, it's at 3. Adding from that, we also got a little timer sitting there in the bottom. And uh, I'm actually sitting here in the title screen specifically because something really weird happened at the end of the last episode. So basically the timer is set so that I've... You know, so long as we're playing the game, the timer's going to keep moving on. It's set from the first episode's time and it's continuing on for now. And we'll just keep this going to see how long it takes to finish the game. So it's adding a little bit more statistics to what we've been doing. Now when I actually ended the last episode, I'm not sure what happened, but while I was in this room... Let's continue on. While I was sitting in this room... Oh look, they actually changed the image, so these things actually aren't consistent. I don't know what it was. While I was just ending the recording, I got a death screen. So I game overed for no reason, and I really don't know what that was about. But it doesn't matter, so we're just going to continue on, and hopefully things go the way they're supposed to go. Just making sure that everything's in order. Is everything moving? Yep, everything is flowing. Okay, perfect. So... The game's gonna get progressively more scary from here. I mean, technically, we went through the we went through the easiest hundred floors, and now things are getting less fun. It's currently 1:23 in the morning, so I'm trying to keep up this consistent. We'll record late at night, sort of thing. And uh, I think it's gonna work out. Let me just see if I can remember all the controls, because I mean, it's a super easy game. Oh, oh. Uh, when I say easy, I'm not referring to the actual game, I'm referring to the controls, obviously. Ew. Ooh. I think my screen saturation is a little too high. Wait a second. Donk. Ding. Alright, so. Straight. Wait. Left. Left, it's not le straight, so it's left, left, le okay, left, right, left, left. Oh, this is so entertaining, isn't it? I'm, I'm, it's the wrong one, it's this one, so it's left. Wait, wait. I can't go through. Left, right, this, <laughs> this is surprisingly not fun. I, I can't, I'm so confused as to why this isn't working. Right, straight, left, uh, okay, I apologize for that, I really wasn't paying enough attention. I for some reason was expecting something to pop up, I was just ready for it because I felt like I was taking too long there and something was bound to come and kill me. But nothing happened, so we're, we're in the clear, we're in the green. And we're just going to keep going. I got a bit of restless leg syndrome right now, and it's actually kind of annoying because my calves are really sore. Um, I'm not sure if anybody here actually goes running or enjoys running. I personally really don't like it, but I do it anyway because I have this ambition to be a really great runner someday. And like My goals aren't even that high. I'm not trying to run a marathon. I just want to be able to consistently run 12k and um, I had a friend who used to I had a friend who used to talk to me about it she used to love running and you know she challenged me one day to hopefully do that I feel like this is the exact same layout as the room where I almost got attacked by the other green enemy but uh, yeah so she was at 10k at the time the furthest I've ever run in my life was 8.4k so I'm sure I could make it I can get to 12 uh, currently, my uh, my distance is at around 5k because I've changed my running style. Uh, okay, all right, add one to that. Um, hmm. 
Ooh, this is this is nice. We got some popular YouTubers. They're popular, but they're not popular enough for me to know who they are. I feel like I should know this guy with the spork. But yeah, so if you ever go running, you'll know. You know, if you run the way that you walk, so let's say you land on your heels, off of your toes, and such. That's how I used to run. That's actually what I did originally, and uh, I ended up hurting myself. I got a little bit of damage in my knees, and I got patellar tendinitis, and then I also developed shin splints. So all the good stuff. I, is this even a map? Is it really a map? It's like moving Tetris. Uh, so yeah, I did all that stuff. It didn't go really well. This looks familiar. And... Hmm. All right, we'll get back to that in a moment, but first... Because I remember this, and that's why I'm curious. Because I don't remember what triggers the thing that I'm scared of at the moment. So we're going to read this note. Subject 5 is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives. But she just left and flew into the ceiling. Without more chemicals to keep these things docile, I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here safely. Generic lab assistant. You see, clearly... Wait, no. Clearly that... Oof, I thought I saw something. Clearly that didn't work out well, because evidently something got out. I'm just gonna ignore it. It's not important. We got a... We got a key... Key card. I see something in the ceiling. I feel like I know what it is. I believe Subject 5 is loose. The glass around its container is shattered, and I can't... And I can faintly hear a clicking coming from the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now. If it's out and alive and this is probably my last report, the clicking is getting louder now. Generic lab assistant. Do you hear it? Because I think I hear it. Well, I'm not sure if I hear it. I do hear it. <gasps> oh man, he's fast. He's actually a lot faster than the last one. But it's... Oh, God. <laughs> I wasn't hitting space. Oh, up. Oh. Alright. I think what's going to be the death of me here is my poor decision making when it comes to which direction to take. Uh, I kind of want to look. I'm, I'm just curious, but I was so scared that if I turn around, I can't run. And this brings back that thing I asked about before, where you know, does it really matter how fast you get into the door? Can I just? I can still hear clicking. Uh, like, can I just stand? Oh my god! Can I just finish a sentence? Oh, oh god! Oh, we're good. We're not good. We're so not good. <laughs> I thought I, I thought it was it. Thank goodness for that. I'm I'm gonna hit it. Don't worry. Here it is. There we go. I I got spooked. I'm actually kind of kind of on the fence. Is it possible to go back and re-trigger him? I I don't know. I I really don't understand how the game decides what it does. <laughs> well. Alright, for whatever reason, I was still thinking of the spider when that happened. <laughs> oh, that, that's gonna haunt me forever. What was that? Was that the ghost or the pumpkin? I can't even remember. My mind is just its blank now. Oh, what a day. Okay. Uh, okay, back to the running thing. Yeah, so basically, I've started running on my toes. Right, where you land on the balls of your feet, you bounce off of it, kind of like a kangaroo or your cartoonish rendition of what a kangaroo does. Is that a... I swear the music in this game is scarier than I remember. Oh, yeah, oh, this is... Oh, it's him! Okay, I think he runs slower than the spider did, so I'm just gonna get some... Sp oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Not I think I saw a hanged man. I really want to have a conversation with you guys, but at the moment my mind is a bit cluttered. I hope you'll forgive me for that. Uh, yes, so if you're bouncing off of your uh, toes, what happens is your calves take most of the impact, so it takes some of the weight off of your shins and your knees and also your lower back, making it a lot safer and a lot easier for you to run. Problem is that even though that's the case, you run a tiny bit slower in my opinion, even though athletic runners and sprinters tend to run on their toes anyway, uh, I think it's just a bit harder to 
get that kind of forward momentum because your body can't lean nearly as much forward. You have to stand upright, which is why it's better for your back and such. And as a result of such, it's good for you to run that way. So I've been doing it. I can't run as far as I used to, but at the same time, I don't feel the pain I used to feel. So that's why it's probably a good thing. I can't go fast. Um, yeah, so that's why my current record with it is 5k. I'm gonna... I want to read! I don't know how much... Oh. <laughs> I was scared that he's still here, but I thought since there's a note, he can't be, right? I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes, so that means either I'm getting somewhere, or someone is taking them. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm not taking them. Hmm. Which is why... It's okay. What happens if you go back? Oh, you can't. It just literally doesn't let you. Which is smart. I actually never considered what actually happens, so... Keep that blood bumping. And this one doesn't have an extra poster. Which is... Which is a good thing. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to deny that it's a pretty good thing. Okay. Ooh. I feel this in my neck and in my back, to be honest. I really want to go for another run. Surprisingly as well, it's not just my calves that are sore. Uh, I feel a little bit of soreness in my uh, rectus femoris. That's not a penis joke. It's uh, <laughs> It's that muscle that connects your thigh to your... Well, basically your femur to your pelvis. Um, it's, it's just... I think a lot of people tend to mistake that for tendon pain, which I'm pretty sure it's not, right? The rectus femoris is one of your quadricep muscles. It's one of the four um, next to your vastus intermedialis and the rest of them. So... It's, uh, it's only my left one, too, which makes me think that either there's an imbalance in my body or maybe I'm landing wrong. I'm not entirely sure. It's one or the other. It's it's A or B. It doesn't matter. Um, nothing's actually popped up in a while. I'm kind of w I wonder about these rooms because I feel like these are the safest rooms, assuming you're not being chased, since you're so far away from all the walls that nothing can actually appear. Um, but if you're being chased, I mean, the green guy tended to float, so I'm not I'm not convinced. I don't know how long we've been playing. I actually can't see the timer while I'm playing the way that you guys can. But uh, I'm under the impression that this episode is going to be a little bit short, just because we seem to be getting pretty close to 200, and I'm going to try to stick to my 100 per episode, just just because it's it's a nice rounded number, and I don't want to convince myself to play too much. I know the later stages are... Oh, I really, really don't like this, actually. I hate this type of game. This is absurdly terrifying to me. Oh, uh, the whole school theme. This reminds me of Corpse Party. Alright. Nothing here. The music is scary. Just talk it out. Just talk it out. I swear this looks like Corpse Party. I'm sure that's not what this is referencing. But... Because, I mean, Corpse Party was more of an RPG game, unless you're talking about the later ones. And there are some ghosts. Book of Shadows, maybe? Corpse Party Book of Shadows? No, I don't think so. I don't want to be here. I don't see anything that's interesting. I see one thing that's interesting. I see another thing that's kind of interesting. But I don't want to go anywhere near those ghosts. That's not scary, per se. Uh, anyway... Matsuri never came to class today. I hope she made it home okay. I think that triggered something. If it did, I really don't want to see what it is. You guys do not understand how terrified I am of this game style. This whole flashlight type thing. Oh, shivers. I'm not even going to try opening other doors. I just want to get out of here. Is it getting darker? Oh, God. Oh, goodness. This shivers. I'm just going to go. I'm so out of here. There we go. That's what I was scared of. I don't know what I'm scared of, but whatever it is, I'm scared of it. Just this this music is new to me. I don't remember this music. 
What do you look like? What are- Oh, okay, you know what? I don't want to see. Just, just... I kind of am too curious. I, I kind of do want to see. Now that we don't have the flashlight thing, I'm not as... She's... She's not fast. I think she's slower than the spider. I mean, I'm not really going to sit here and try to divulge the analytics of how fast all these guys travel. I just know that... This one, this one flies like the first guy did, and that means if I get to that room where... This room, basically. I think I, I think it's left. If you go left... If, if you know, God was fortunate... <laughs> God was generous enough not to get her to follow me. Should be fine. L last time I went right, I had a problem. So this time I'm going to go left and have the same problem. But I don't see her. I'm still going to do it backwards, just because I can. Never mind, it's too slow. Oh, I'm mumbling. I'm mumbling a lot. In fact, just because of that classroom thing, I'm going to give myself a spooky thing, just because I really hate that type of stage. I don't know what it is. I think it's... Must have something to do with when I was a kid. I think uh, some. Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that? To me? <laughs> yeah, I, m I must have played a game when I was a kid, or seen someone play a game when I was a kid that had something similar to that. It must have really scared me. That's the best that I can um, can think of. Because, I mean, outside of that, I mean, as soon as we leave the whole flashlight room sort of situation, uh, I'm out of it. And I know there are some games that are just all that. Like, the entire game is designed like that, and I would never play those games. And I say that, even though I probably would, just for the experience of knowing that it, I find it scary. Uh, but don't get me wrong, I actually don't like horror games at all, and the reason why I'm playing this is because it's... I mean, I'd consider this not to be... Why are they all getting to me now? I think it's that it was that ghost. That ghost really put me on edge. Um, I think it's. Um, I'm not even sure where I was going with that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I think this game's a little bit different, just in the sense that it's more straightforward. Since you know what you're trying to do, and it's relatively linear, you're less you're less likely to. Well, to encounter things in the most obscure places. I mean, this is basically a game of jump scares, and to most people that's the scariest thing. Whereas for me, jump scares aren't the scariest side of things. It's the anticipation of things to come. And this game has a bit of that, but I feel like it doesn't do it nearly as... Uh, nearly as... Well, not well. It does it really well. It doesn't do it nearly as um, badly or as in a scary manner as the other ones. And that's one of the reasons why... I was kind of willing to dive into this one, and why I think it's fun, I mean the art style is cute, you have to admit, just look at it. Look at this torn painting, and this, I'm just gonna call them vertebra, because I don't know what to call that, chest piece. And we're here, we're at 200, guys, we've succeeded, and look, at it's pillar again, pillar, make like a tree and die, coming this fall. It's exactly what we said last time we were here. Now this time, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to press escape and pause the game. And I'm even going to go back to the main menu, because I'm actually done playing for the day, but I want to... Did I save? Please tell me I saved. I did. Because I want to absolutely make sure I don't just die for no reason this time, so... I'm glad we got that over with. Ooh. It feels pretty good. I don't know how long I've been recording for, but I don't think it matters. It seems like it might have been a good... A good 15 minutes or so. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you again in the next episode. Have a nice one.